How's it going everybody? I'm Daniel, this is Daniel about tech and today I'm back with another video to talk about storage your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch storage because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to download a song or an app or a video or anything of that sort and receiving that pop-up message saying that you ran out of storage and like suggesting you to try and delete some files so that is a pain, it's a huge pain and I'm just gonna show you right now six tips to help you uh, go around this little issue that we all have so let's go ahead and dig in okay so let's go ahead and jump in with my six tips and the first tip may seem pretty obvious and it is but sometimes you just don't stop and think about it and actually go ahead and do it and that is delete unimportant files and I'm talking about songs videos, photos, those old messages that you keep, old emails, okay? So all those unimportant files that we keep but we don't use it, okay? Let's just delete that because if you do that, you may get yourself another gig very easily. 500 megabytes a gig, a gig and a half, and that can make a huge difference. Okay, tip number two check your storage, okay? So this is the most important part when you want to check your storage and uh, and save your storage and that is going to settings and then you go to general storage and iCloud usage right there so once you go to this option I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit to help you out uh, we go to manage storage right there okay here we can see easily the used storage and the available storage uh, and if you sum that up you can see it's around, uh, it's around 60 gigs uh, because that's a 64 gig iPhone okay so with manage storage they are gonna load right here all your apps in all of the uh, usage in all of the megabytes that they are currently using megabytes or gigabytes okay so right now we have music right here with 11 gigs but that's because I download a lot of a lot of songs and that's like tip number one is within tip number one you know download unimportant files and then have photos and uh, Snapchat and this and this and this and that. And this um, right here is a very easy way to manage your storage and go to tip number three, which is delete unnecessary apps. Okay, so for example, I have m loads and loads and loads of apps, as you guys can see right here. Uh, and this list puts uh, from the one that uses more uh, storage to the one that uses less. But for example, you get an app like Keynote, for example. I never use it. It's just because I downloaded the iWork file uh, because it was free, so I downloaded it. But then imagine I move in Keynote. Oh, just just these two apps, you got a gig right there very easily. And in your everyday life, and then when you're using your iPhone every day, you don't you just don't, don't see it because it's like hidden in a folder or something. So that exercise is very very good for you. Okay, it gives you a new perspective on how much storage you are using. Okay. That goes to tip number four, which is clear documents and data. Okay, if you don't know what documents and data are, these documents and data are the files, okay, that your iPhone stores, uh, that the apps on your iPhone, they store automatically, uh, that you don't see, and they are not part of the size of the app itself. Let me just show you something, like, brutal. I have Snapchat right here, and it's using 780 megabytes. 780 that's absurd for an app like snapchat and if you open it up you can see that uh, the app itself is 78 megabytes I'm sorry right here the app itself is 78 megabytes and I have 700 of documents and data so that's 10 times the size of the app itself and what I suggest doing is you have the possibility of going through the app and going through settings and all of that and trying to download these files but it's awfully complicated and generally you cannot download uh, delete everything so what I recommend is delete the app and then you re-download it because apps like that you, you don't necessarily have anything stored you know if you want something stored you just go and save it to your photos and to your library but uh, you don't need the app like storing all that data and the same thing happens with Facebook if you open Facebook I have the size of the app is 150 megabytes okay is much less absurd of course as, as Snapchat I have 157 megabytes in 360 of documents and data that's double 
uh, the, the memory just right there. So then that's something I recommend. Delete the app and re-download, put your password and your username and you're good to go and you freed yourself another gig or two maybe just like that. So, uh, so just like in the, with the half of the video, I've taught you how to clear easily two or three gigs. So uh, that's how good this, these tips are. Uh, if you want to go with tip number five, that is optimize iPhone storage and that's regarding photos. So then if you go right to the beginning of the settings app and then you scroll down and you go to your photos, photos and camera right there, right next to videos and then you're gonna have your iCloud photo library, okay, right here if you have it on and if you have it on and you know iCloud for a photo library lets you uh, store all your photos in the cloud okay but what happens is you have two possibilities you can store the original photos in the cloud okay in the in the in the cloud service so you, you store it right there in the host away from your computer from your iDevice and uh, you can choose to keep the originals the originals in the cloud and the optimized version on your phone so you don't have to have the optimized very heavy photos on your phone so in my op in my option I put download and keep originals so every time I take a picture from this phone or from an iPad or something it will download the original photo and keep the original on my phone so that uses a lot of space or you can just go ahead and click optimize iPhone storage so you, you keep a low resolution photo uh, file in your phone and you keep the high resolution in the cloud so every time you tap on a photo it will actually uh, download that unique specific photo and show you in high resolution but as soon as you leave the photo away it's gonna keep in a low resolution so you save hundreds and hundreds of megabytes and the final tip, because I don't want this video to be too long, uh, is regarding your iCloud uh, backup. So if you go to your backup, which is in iCloud right here, and then uh, let it load, okay? And then you scroll down and you have backup. You have two possibilities. You can either you can either back up your, your phone, okay, back up the phone in general to the cloud or back it up to a computer or a Mac. In my, in my uh, phone right here I have iCloud backup so it backs up everything to the cloud and, every and when I buy a new phone or if something happens to this one I have a copy of everything in the cloud. Uh, but the problem is even, even though it says it is in the cloud you, you save loads and loads of files of this backup specifically on the phone okay for some reason a lot of files are stored on the phone so even though it is a, it is a backup to the cloud part of this backup stays on the phone so you use a lot of storage just with the backup and if you go ahead and back it up to your computer all the files go encrypted to your computer and you don't have a single file of the backup right here so you save there another like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of megabytes on that even gigs maybe so that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys. I mean, with these six tips, you can save yourself easily three or four gigabytes. And if you have an iPhone with 16 gigs, that's a fourth of it, you know? Just with some very, very uh, simple tips that you can do it in 10 minutes and then you can like change your phone, okay? So I hope you, you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, make sure to hit the like button right here and the subscribe button right there. And if you're watching this, this is for a mobile version. If you're watching on a computer, it's the opposite. So is the subscribe here and the like there. But uh, I'm 100% I'm sure you guys can find it. Okay, so thank you very much. And I hope you uh, liked it. And I hope you tune in again in two weeks. Uh, that's when I will post a new video. Okay, bye-bye. See you.